this video, we're going to be breaking down the best defense post patch in college football 25. If you want to get my full dollar defensive ebook, it's available on our school community page, school.com slash Cody Ballard. This defense is unbelievably effective post patch in college football 25, and it is the 326 odd. This is in the 326 defense playbook, which is going to be coming out in DB Fire 2. This defense literally just became the best defense of the game. All you have to do is you're just going to show blitz. You're going to spread your defensive line and slant them inside, and this is pretty much your setup, and you're going to get incredible pressure off of one and potentially both edges with this N5. So, again, a very simple setup. You're just going to show your blitz, spread your defensive line, slant inside, and stand about right in here, and you are going to scream off of both edges. Now, uh, I want you to look to the left side. One of the things that uh, I've been getting a lot of, a lot of uh, questions about is, Cody, how do we get pressure if we don't have quick jump? Well, look at that left side. Nobody on that left side has quick jump. Nobody. There's no quick jump on the left side. We're getting double edge pressure consistently. This has to do with the coding in the game post patch. Now, I will say I am using quick jump on one player, and it is on my right side defensive end. So I'm going to take him off the field, and we'll just see if this can work without that. I'm not sure that it will work as good without quick jump on the on the bunch side. I think it's a little better on the other side, but it could potentially come in here. So again, here you see, and we don't get that loop off the right, but we do get that loop off of the left. So this defense can be ran and cut because you don't need any abilities to run it. Let's say um, they block their running back. How would we want to send this, set this up? Really what I think would be the best case scenario is if we could get this to scream. Uh, we'll just see if we can get this little, little uh, five man to scream against a blocked running back. You see here it is going to scream and we're going to loop around off that side. So this is, Probably the best uh, – this has always been, honestly, truly, truthfully, this has always been the best coverage defense in the game. This has always been the best coverage defense in the game. But when you can blitz out of this defense, it opens up an entire world of possibilities for your defense. Let's just send four here. Check this out. You can oftentimes send four around here, and it will loop. Didn't quite do that there for us, but it will uh, – it, it certainly has the potential to do that. Another thing you could do, you could literally just – call hike you don't have to do anything whatsoever and you will get that you see that right side guy was trying to loop around so a lot of different ways to run this defense post patch another thing you could do let's say that you want to stop the run a little bit more run defense focus you can pinch your defensive line and basically just hover in this a gap and you'll see that a lot of times we didn't quite get the pressure off that side i'm gonna try to crash out this time um but but a lot of times you'll be able to get this blitz in we'll stand over here too to kind of help this you see, get a little bit more aggressive with your hover, and oftentimes this will come in. Another thing you can do that I, I haven't even t tried yet, but I know is pretty good, is just containing. Uh, when you contain on the inside, it's going to get that guy to get that wider blitz angle, and that corner is going to come in. Now, there are corners in the game that have the quick jump ability that will make this blitz even better. Uh, of course, quick jump takes every defense and makes it 10 times better, but you see we are able to consistently get this very good send five pressure that is going to force your opponent to block a running back and you have the best coverage in the game. This defense can defend everything. It can defend bunch. It can defend trips. The cool part about this defense is it is a symmetrical formation and so it's going to be a lot better with the different alignment bugs that are in this game. So you can pinch it. You can spread it. You can shift it. You can slant it up, slant it down. A lot of different ways to run in this defense but the bottom line is this is probably the best defense in the game post patch. There we got double pressure without even having a quick jump. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out my entire dollar three two defensive breakdown, it's available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard.